Hi, this is Caroline Sinise Olivine with Six Figure Start, and this week's video blog comes courtesy of Kathy. Kathy wrote in with a number of different job transitions and employment gaps, and she asks, how much do I need to disclose about my career transitions without sounding like I'm not stable or a litigious candidate or otherwise not viable? Essentially, how do I talk about gaps in my resume or job transitions without coming across as negative? Well, Kathy, everybody is going to have transitions that they're going to need to discuss. And in the ideal world, your transition is always 100% happy and you're moving for 100% positive reasons. But I think we all can say that there's going to be one or two or three instances where you're leaving a bad situation, whether it's a company that's folding or a toxic work environment or even a negative boss. And the important thing about career transitions, whether it's an actual gap or whether it's just moving from one job to another, is that you don't want to dwell on these transitions. So you asked about how much information should you give. You should give enough information so that the interviewer understands why you moved from point A to point B, but the operative focus is going to be why you moved to point B. You really want to focus on an empowered, positive decision. The second thing you want to focus on is making it short. You don't want to give a lot of detail. You want to give just enough detail so we understand why you made the move and then you want to move on. You've got to realize that talking about transitions really puts the focus in the past and you want the focus to be in the present. What are you interested in doing now? What can you bring to the table now? Why should they hire you now? So the focus needs to be on the present and not the past. And the final point that I want to make is you want to be gracious when you're talking about your transitions. Sure, there might be a number of reasons why you've made a transition. There might be reasons around continuing the example of the toxic boss or the work environment. It might have been a bad environment. But there's also the flip side to that reason, which is you found a better environment. And you want to focus on really just what is going to give you the most graceful exit. You don't want to dwell on negativity because the interviewer is going to look at that and say, wow, this person might be talking about me. So again, you want to stay positive and empowered. You want to keep it short and you want to be as gracious as possible. And that is how much you disclose about your transitions. If you have a question for Six Figure Start, please email us at info at sixfigurestart.com.